Okay, so I first want to define for you dominance versus recessiveness in, um, within genetics, okay? So what do we mean by recessive when we're talking about a genetic disease? So those of you guys that are in high school probably know this, right? When we talk about recessive, what does that mean? It means that you require, for, in order to see the disease, you have to have a mutation in both copies of that gene. Remember, we have two copies of every gene, right? So for a recessive disease, you have to have a mutation in both of those copies of the genes, the one you have got from your mom and the one you got from your dad. Now, if you have one normal copy and one mutant copy, you're called heterozygous, and then you're a carrier. So you are normal, you don't have that disease, but you are carrying that mutation and you can pass it on to your offspring, to your children. If you are homozygous, that means that you have two copies of the same mutation. So both of copies of your gene have the same mutation. Or you can be what's called a compound heterozygote, which means that you have two mutations, but they're two different mutations. So you got mutation A from your mom and mutation B from your dad in the same gene. So you still end up with the disease. Now, on the other hand, what do we mean by dominance in, when, um, in referring to genetic disorders? A dominant disorder is one that requires only one copy of the bad gene in order to develop the disease. Okay, so you have one normal copy and one mutant copy, and you develop the disease. And so in which case, if you're heterozygous, then you're affected. Now what happens if you're homozygous, if you have two copies of the mutant allele? In this case, for, with, with human genetic diseases, they are more severely affected, all right? So whether you have two copies of the same mutation or two different mutations in that gene, you're more severely affected. And very often these are lethal very early in life or even embryonic lethals.